Good morning. I am getting ready to fly to Osaka, Japan tonight. Um, getting Japan is really tricky because everyone wants to go and I have a three day layover. Thing is, I probably can't leave the hotel, maybe not even the room. It depends um, due to COVID, all the destinations, there's different rules and restrictions, but hopefully, you know, I can maybe sit outside for a bit and enjoy the fresh air. But yeah, you're never really sure which flight's gonna be your last at the moment. Just with everything happening, it's a pretty unstable situation, but I'm super grateful to still be flying. So yeah, come along. It's gonna be a long three days. I've taken some things to entertain myself. And yeah, I'm really tired, but I've had my coffee. It was a little delay already, so I got an extra hour nap, which I think my body will be really happy. I'm all ready to go. My face looks a little bare because I'm not wearing the lipstick, but we're wearing a mask from when I leave now until I get to the hotel room, so there is no point. Um, my bags are all packed and they're very heavy. I'm bringing my own food to eat because I'm just not sure what's gonna be open and I eat like mostly vegan. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing some hotel room creations. Um, normally I'd catch a bus to work, but uh, my building currently has private cars, which is really quite nice actually. So I'm gonna head downstairs now for that. All right, and it's also Halloween. So guess I'm going as a flight attendant. All right, let's go. My balloon. I just had my birthday. Oh, it's deflated. This is a golden retriever. Best thing I've ever received. And I have a lot more plants since last time. It's like 50 at least. All right, let's go. So, like, all the lifts are like this. Things are going at the moment. Social distancing. Oh, and I'm just going to Japan. We've made it to the hotel in Osaka. It was a really lovely flight. Um, I've been wearing this, well, not this mask, but masks for the past 14 hours non-stop. I'm so used to it now, you know, like it feels weird to take it off. <laughs> but on the plane, we wear a lot more PBE. So we have a big gown on, we have gloves, we wear like visor goggles. And yeah, we changed that throughout the flight and sanitize all the time. So it's a very different experience, but you know, it's, you gotta take these precautions at the moment. And it was a quite uneventful flight. Everyone was happy. The crew were really lovely. And it just feels nice to finally be here. I feel really sad that I can't, you know, go out and explore for three days, but I am so grateful just to be in Japan. <laughs> um, so apparently there's a spa open and gym and pool and things like that. So tonight I'm just going to chill, unpack, um, maybe watch Netflix or something. And then I have the next three days to explore the hotel. <laughs> so it should be good. Give you a little room tour. It is night time now. It's like maybe almost 8.30 in the evening. I think it's five hours ahead of Dubai. Um, so it's like afternoon, but... And I haven't slept since last night, so it's a bit confusing. I haven't had a flight this long in quite a while, so the time difference will be interesting. But, you know, I'm not going out. I'll be in the hotel. I can sleep when I want, as often as I want. So, yeah, I'll give you a little tour. Oh, yes, and I will take the mask off, but I'm just so used to it. Like, I step outside of the house and I'm wearing it. You know, I take it off if I'm, like, out in public eating or exercising. But, yeah, I'll take it off now. It's bad enough. For the next three days, there's lots of mirrors, which I really like. Here's my stuff. Big mirror again. Oh, exciting Japanese toilet. 
What a fun activity for this day. Oh good, there's a kettle. That'll be nice for green tea. Oh, <laughs> perfect. I can fit all of my my weird canned food that I brought with me in there. And there's, oh, thank goodness. Okay, there's a fridge. Is it empty? Amazing. I can fit all my stuff in there. And, ooh, excellent. Got two beds. Which is good, I can mix things up a bit. TV, cupboards, I actually might unpack my things this time. I've got so much time. <laughs> Two little chairs, and I'm not sure what the view is gonna be. It's kinda hard to see, but looks like it's kind of industrial city. I know that the beach, or the ocean, sorry, is quite nearby. Hopefully I can see that from somewhere. But yes, welcome to my 76 hour little home <laughs> so there's a convenience store in the hotel which closes in 15 minutes i haven't even showered or anything i'm just going to run downstairs before it closes see if there's any fun snacks i love japanese snacks and i'm looking very fashionable today as you can see so it was either sneakers or these to go to the convenience store and i've chosen these because because they're cute obviously So I was under the impression that the convenience store was like, you know, just like a little one that had bits and pieces, essentials, but this was a proper Japanese convenience store, like proper Japanese. It had everything. Like there was, there was a whole rack of wine, all sorts, snacks, hot food, cold food. So I didn't bring any sweet things with me. So I bought some pockies, delicious. I don't know what these are called, but I eat them like every time I'm here, the little Japanese chocolatey cracker filled things. Oh, koalas march, they're called. Cute. And I got a banana wrapped in plastic, not ideal. Um, but I didn't bring any fresh fruit or veggies because I was following the rules, but I could have very easily brought stuff, but you know, better to be safe. And I'll have the breakfast, sorry, I'll have the banana with my breakfast, my muesli tomorrow morning. It's really nice. What's typical, like, I bring all my own toiletries, like shampoo and everything, so I don't use the mini ones in hotels and waste plastic. And the one thing I thought that would spill, I wrapped with sticky tape so it wouldn't leak. And it leaked. Now everything's like sticky. Ugh, and my hand's sticky. But at least it smells nice. But I was like, why? Why did this happen? Now that I'm back in the room, I'm comfy, I'm maskless and I've had a very successful convenience store visit. I will show you everything I've brought with me, or mainly the food, that's what I'm gonna show. So I've decided to keep this half of the room clean, untouched, just so it's like a bit more peaceful. And then this can just be the chaos side. So I've got, you know, all my things, I've got charges, cords, in case I want to do any craft. There was origami downstairs, so never know. And then, oh my god, did I buy two of the same adapter? Okay, no, they're slightly different. Oh no, they're different brands, they just look the same. Anyway, my laptop, like my MacBook, um, hasn't been charging properly on other layovers. And, you know, I'm here for three days, so I purchased a bunch of different adapters in hopes that they work, so stay tuned. Um, I've got a resistance band thing, scrunchy, my bag, my money, cabin bag. And in here, I've packed everything away. My uniform's already, my clothes, which is basically just like pajamas, and then stuff in here, which I won't really need. Um, and to the really exciting part of the trip is what looks like a shop that I've opened up. <laughs> Uh, salt vinegar chips, essential, um, chips for nachos, some, what are these, corn cracker things, muesli, burger buns, and 
this is funny. Look at <laughs> Oh, I'm so sad. Um, I've got like dots of chopped tomatoes, kidney beans, corn, tomato stuff, tinned hummus, which is not as bad as you think. It's actually really good. Um, a few soups and some of my favorite tea. These little fizzy sticks, salt and pepper, because I just thought, you know, it's easier if I bring it. This is like a, what is it, a peanut butter protein powder, so I can mix it with my milk that I've also brought. This is nutritional yeast. Oh my god, it's the best thing in the world. Um, olive oil, I don't know, I just had these and I thought, you know, bring them. I can dip bread in it, delicious. And this is the stuff that was in here originally. Then we go down to Le Fridge. And I brought a liter of oat milk and some orange juice. Because I know this is stuff that I will want to have every day. And if I've got it, then I'm not going to pay lots of money unnecessarily. So yeah, I'm excited to see what I conjure up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so much food. I feel like such a weirdo having brought all of that food with me. Like tinned tomato and tinned kidney beans and olive oil but you know actually i'm being practical okay i wanted to save money i wanted to eat things that i well, that don't make me feel sick you know like i want to eat mostly vegan this trip um and i didn't want to spend lots of money on hotel food um and the allowance for this trip is super generous like so the allowance is the cash we are given to spend in the hotel during a labor um on food and stuff to survive to survive that sounds grim um but yeah this trip it's amazing for perspective the only the cash that we're given for this trip is almost half of the entire monthly salary i've been receiving like not just recently but over the past months after corona started so yeah it's a lot of money so i thought you know what i'll bring some things it can be like a fun creative little hotel room kitchen experience uh and then i can take some money back with me and spend it on probably more food in Dubai that I don't need. So, oh well, it's gonna keep me entertained trying to cook things. And you know what, what could go wrong? Like I've got chips and canned hummus. <laughs> I think I'm like deliriously tired, but I'm just so excited to be here and really excited now that I found these. Mm-hmm. Definitely not vegan, but I'm sure you can make them vegan. But I said mostly vegan for this trip. And they're koalas. I couldn't I couldn't not eat them. They're almost all gone. <laughs> Last time I tried to charge my MacBook Air in another country in Thailand, it like corrupted my laptop, so <laughs> adapter number one. Let's see if the green light lights up. Damn it. All right, it didn't explode. All right, let's try the next one. Charger number two. Please, 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 please work. Yes! Oh my god, this is... Oh, now I can just play useless games for the whole three days. Great success. Oh my god, that's such a relief, honestly. Fantastic, what brand is this thingy? Alexon, amazing. Isn't the old one that brand? Interesting, it's not very consistent. Well, happy days. <laughs> so content. I've got my Japanese green tea and popcorn I made last night. My bed is super comfy and cozy. And the King's Speech is on. Very good movie. Oh, so happy. <laughs> and good morning. It's Sunday now. I slept for like eight hours i stuck to dubai time i think i should do that because it's five hour time difference and i'm gonna be a bit confused otherwise oh let's see what view we have it's osaka bay that we're near so maybe i can see some water oh how nice oh and there's so much greenery and i can see the bay that's nice so good for me, in hotels, one of the things I value most is natural light and big windows. So this is great. I've got the sun coming in and it takes up the whole wall. Perfect. 
Oh, I wonder if it opens. How do I? Mm. Okay, no. That's okay. Beautiful. You can see the mountains in the distance. Ooh. Okay, so apparently the pool and gym are open. So I'm going to check those out. Um, I can see a lot of value in me just like floating in water right now. I feel a bit rough. Um, I slept like eight or nine hours, but my eyes are all puffy. And I think that'll help wake me up. Um, not that I need to be awake for anything <laughs> for a long time. Um, but it'll be nice to see what's around the hotel, practicing social distancing, I wear my mask like I always do. Um, and oh yeah, I might see if there's some sushi in the convenience store. They'd run out of veggie stuff last night, but never know. If I get sushi just once during this day, like I will be thrilled. So fingers crossed and then I might go to the gym. I haven't exercised in like four months until this week. I went hiking and I went to the gym twice. I'm using my knee to like balance my arm because it's my arms are really sore. Um, so that could be fun, productive. I'm staring outside of a beautiful window. Ah, oh, just so oh, wish I could go out, but you know, that's the world. Happy to be here. So let's go. All right, ready to go. Some hotels have like incredible gyms, and then some it's like a room with like four pieces of equipment. So. Hopefully it's nice. Even just walking on the treadmill for a bit will be beneficial, so. I'm gonna be wearing either like gym clothes or pajamas the whole trip. That's all I packed, so it's gonna be a comfy one. Okay, so this is definitely a good gym. <laughs> so I ended up doing a 30 minute walk slash jog. I did 10 minutes of yoga, a seven minute arm workout, and then 13 minutes I did just different stretches and like an ab workout and some squats and stuff. So I'm really glad I came down. I love having this room to myself. And the sun's pouring through. Feels good. <laughs> I went to the restaurant in the lobby on the way back from the gym. Now I have a plate, a bowl, and cutlery so I can make my food. And they were super sweet. They asked if I wanted to have anything warmed up, but I think it's just gonna be easier. Like everything I brought is fine to eat cold. And I just can imagine me like going down the lifts with six cans and a packet of chips <laughs> and them being like, okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's almost lunchtime in Dubai and I'm gonna try to make something that resembles nachos. So here we go. <laughs> Not bad at all. Goodness. And a nice view as well. It's so like, you know when you visualize something really bad happening and then it happens. I just went to move to eat in bed. So yes, hotel, I'm really sorry about this plate, but I think the real devastation here, <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, I'm so annoyed. I don't even want to deal with this. I don't know whether to make it again or to just 
order room service. <laughs> All is well now. I had leftover in the can, so I made like a dip and then the chip is separate. No plates. Watching Shit's Creek. Beautiful sunset. All is well. <laughs> Wanna have fun. It's gonna take more than a license to grow to get this. I just woke up and it's raining outside. I don't get to see the rain very often, so. So nice. I swear, every time housekeeping rings the doorbell, I'm in the shower, every time. <laughs> But I really wanted my bed to be made because there's a lot of crumbs in it because I was eating in there. Um, so yeah, they came in, replaced the bedding and some new towels and he even opened the window for me. Oh, now it's such a beautiful breeze and fresh air. And I can hear the world. I can probably feel the rain if I reached out far enough, so, so nice. And I'm gonna head downstairs briefly to see if there's any decent food in the convenience store before it closes my hair's wet um because yeah i've just had a lot of trauma with my food that i brought with me I'm over it but <laughs> let's see so i just went to the shop because it said on the sign it was open until 2 p.m but they've scrubbed it out and written till 1 p.m and now it's closed so i have to basically uh reassess my entire life now <laughs> okay i don't know what to eat i don't want to eat my food anymore i'm over it and tin thomas like i said it was good but it's good if you like warm it up in a saucepan with nice olive oil and lemon juice, but straight out the can, it's rough. It's really rough. But at least I've survived half the layover on my own goods, plus a few snacks. And I was so excited for this muesli. Like I don't eat muesli at home ever. Maybe occasionally I'll have like one of those really crunchy, crispy ones mixed in a smoothie bowl. But I had some of this with oat milk last night it is reduced for a reason. It's disgusting. I mixed it up. I tried to add sugar to improve it and it just tasted like angry cardboard. So I'm not gonna throw it out. I'll take it back with me because I know my friend Ornella will like this because she likes things that taste like cardboard. <laughs> so enjoy. <laughs> I'm gonna make like a bain marie to warm the hummus up. Everything is clean, I've washed it, and I will wash it again before I go. Let's see <laughs> if the hummus heats up. Yummy. So this actually turned out okay. I've got two different, uh, well, bread and corn chips for dipping. I made a corn tomato salsa, hummus, which actually warmed up a little bit, and miso soup, tea, and water. Lovely. I'm definitely going to get stuff from the... Um, the restaurant or the convenience store for dinner. <laughs> so I've decided to rearrange the furniture in the room and I'm really pleased with this result. A much cozier and more effective way to see the view. Genius. Alrighty, the shop opens in 10 minutes downstairs. Wish me luck. Let's see what I come back with. Fingers crossed it's something. Japanese and delicious. But if not, I'll order room service. It's fine. <laughs> Yum, this is good. I hope it's vegetarian. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> so I just called room service and a serving of nachos is half the price of a serving of vegetables. And I'm like, I probably could use like some fresh vegetables, but there's guacamole in the nachos. So it's a no brainer, honestly. And oh, I got these chips, and they are very crunchy. I'm obsessed with chips, so mm hmm. Oh, and I ordered this over fries, so I should probably stop eating these chips. So the nachos arrived. Um, it really wasn't what was advertised, so I called and I was like, it said it was meant to have melted cheese and this and that and jalapenos, and they ended up waiving the fee for this so I'm only paying for the fries so that's really good service recovery on their part because honestly it's just chips and like a few dips so cool happy with that 
good result. I put some of the canned tomatoes I bought and the weird liquidy cheese sauce, which has worked quite well. Having a good time. Our last day here, it's beautiful and sunny again. I'm just sitting by the open window, getting some sunshine and drinking some green tea. I feel like I'm ready to go home now. <laughs> I've had a nice time, but yeah. I'm going for my final little stop to the convenience store just to see if there's any like fruit or anything fresh because I am craving that or some rice. Let's see what's left. <laughs> They actually had veggie stuff. The guy at the counter was super helpful. I kept saying, is there fish in this or is there meat in this? And he was amazing. So I got three of the little rice triangle. I'm not sure what they're called, but it's like seaweed rice triangles. And it's exactly what I felt like. So that's fantastic. The wake up calls in like seven hours. So I'm just gonna chill till then, as I have been doing for the past three days. <laughs> enjoying the last afternoon watching the last couple episodes of Shit's Creek. I really enjoyed the series. Um, and a really gourmet lunch here. I'm eating the bread buns <laughs> with olive oil, salt, pepper, and this tomato sauce, which is from the Adelaide Hills, near where I'm from in South Australia. <coughs> Scrumptious. I just finished watching Shit's Creek, like the TV series. If you haven't watched it, watch it. And I just watched the documentary, like, on how they made it. <sighs> Emotional. <laughs> Check this beautiful sunset. This sound that the lighting in the cupboard where all the glasses and mugs were kept is very honest, so it's good for doing makeup. But man, I've been trying to do my eyeliner for, like, a long time. This is the rag with all the failed attempts. I hate it. Like, I can't do it. I even tried to use this masking tape. I like stuck it here to make a line and then drew over it, but it did not work. And then I just ripped half my skin off and now my face is stinging. So, yep, having fun. <laughs> Good use of the little kitchenette slash makeup lighting area. Just don't look too close at my makeup because this is as good as we're getting, but I'm not even leaving for like three hours. I don't know why I'm ready already. So I'm actually pretty much ready. My hair just needs to go in the bun and I need to pack the last few things, which for me is unheard of. You know, normally I leave everything to the last second, but I have a few hours. So I don't know what to do with myself because I've finished watching that TV series. I could probably find something else to watch, but um, I'm just quite excited to be on the flight tonight to be around people, socially distancing obviously because I don't, well I choose not to spend time around large groups of people at the moment due to COVID. Um, I want to keep myself and the people close to me safe because our jobs can all be impacted if we get sick. Um, so yeah, it's just not worth it at the moment. So yeah, being on the plane is really exciting because I get to be around people and talk to people that I wouldn't normally talk to. So. I'm excited. Um, I can say for me and for a lot of other crew, I'm sure layovers are a huge part of our lives in terms of like our social dynamic, I guess. Um, for me, you know, each layover was an opportunity to meet new people, to make new friends, and we'd all hang out the whole time. So I don't have that anymore. Well, none of us have it. And I'm super thankful to still have my job. So grateful. But um, yeah, I really miss um, the layovers that we used to have. So hopefully soon things can return, return to normal. I don't know what it's going to be like, but, um, yeah, I'm thankful that we can all, you know, chat in the flight, but yeah, I just miss exploring places and having just had three days in Japan, like you don't get that ever. So, Oh my gosh, um, again, I'm grateful, but man, I wish we could have gone out and explored. So it's November now. I can't believe it's already like towards the end of the year. So hopefully things start to return sooner rather than later. But you know, we're dealing with it, making the most of it. I'm really good at spending time by myself now, actually, um, which I'm thankful for. I think it's really important to be able to, you know, enjoy your own company. And I've been studying. I just finished my first semester of my master's. So that has kept me very busy. Um, 
I was quite happy to be locked in my room alone for five days just studying or procrastinating a bit of both um, but yes really value being by myself now excited obviously to be in groups and to just see different people but for now embracing the current situation that I'm in got my little coffee I'm playing a game of Catan I'm not winning and waiting for the wake-up call and that's it, a very exciting three day layover in the hotel room. I'm excited to get back, I'm excited for this flight, and I'm really excited to eat some fresh vegetables because <laughs> I didn't get around to that this trip. Um, yeah. Bye, lovely Japan. Hopefully next time I'm here, I can leave the room. Alrighty, let's go. I've got everything.